What you see on the screen right now is a star about to explode, located outside our galaxy 160,000 light years away. Humanity has managed to capture a detailed image of a star outside the Milky Way for the first time. A massive red giant with a radius 1,800 times larger than the Sun has been observed from a distance of 160K light years. As if this wasn't impressive enough, this red giant is on the verge of a supernova explosion. We might be witnessing the closest supernova to Earth. Naturally, this raises an inevitable question. Is a distance of 160,000 light years safe for a supernova explosion? Research on this massive star began in 2005, and by 2024, it reached the supernova phase. The topic has been so intriguing and challenging for scientists that analyzing the observational data from 2020 took four full years, delaying the publication date to 2024. Science is truly a long-term, demanding endeavor. This study involves scientists and universities from Chile, Germany, and the United States. Throughout human history, thousands of observations have provided us with hundreds of thousands of deep space images containing billions of stars. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope has even observed stars from the early stages of the universe. So, what makes the image of WHG 64 stand out from all the other observations we have? The study referenced in our video represents the first detailed analysis of the environmental structure of a star located outside the Milky Way. In other words, not only the star itself, but also its interactions with the dust and clouds surrounding it have been observed. Previous high-resolution observations were generally limited to stars within the Milky Way. WOHG 64, located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, is a groundbreaking step in observing extragalactic red supergiants. The technique used here is one of the first studies to examine the environmental structure of a star outside the Milky Way with such high resolution. Normally stars in other galaxies are seen as mere points of light due to their distances. However, in this case, the physical structure of the dust torus surrounding the star has been clearly mapped. The essence of the matter is that we are seeing a star outside our galaxy in high resolution and in detail for the first time. While this is an incredibly exciting development for scientists, for science enthusiasts like us the fact that the star is in the supernova phase and that we might witness its explosion makes it even more fascinating. Considering that supernova explosions can reach distances of up to 100,000 light years, we can't help but wonder if 160,000 light years is safe for us. How did scientists determine that WOHG 64 is in the supernova phase? Observations show that the star is losing a significant amount of mass and that hot dust is beginning to form around it. For a massive star like this, these are clear signs that a supernova explosion could occur at any moment. To understand this, let's briefly discuss how supernovae occur. Two fundamental forces sustain a star gravitational pull from its mass and the outward push generated by nuclear fusion reactions in its core. While gravity pulls the star inward, nuclear fusion pushes the core outward. As long as these two forces remain balanced, the star continues to shine. Nuclear fusion generates this outward force by burning hydrogen and helium in the core. When lighter elements are depleted, the star starts burning heavier elements but these new sources are inefficient, leading to an imbalance. When nuclear fusion can no longer generate outward force, the star's gravitational pull increases, leading to its collapse and explosion. Mass loss is entirely related to the cycle described above. When the core runs out of fuel, the gravitational pull weakens, causing the star to lose its outer layers. At this stage, the star's balance completely collapses the core begins to contract and the immense pressure results in a supernova explosion. If a star 160,000 light years away with an initial mass 40 times that of the sun explodes, what happens to us? To understand the potential threat, let's examine GRB 221009A, the largest supernova explosion ever observed, detected on October 9, 2022, dubbed the brightest of all time. 
This extraordinary gamma ray burst is estimated to have been caused by a progenitor star with a mass between 15 and 30 times that of the sun. The estimated length of the energy jets produced by this explosion ranges up to 50,000 light years. Using simple logic, we can predict that WOHG 64, with an initial mass 40 times that of the sun, could potentially generate jets extending up to 67,000 light years. However, this is a very rough estimate, as numerous variables influence the path of supernova jets. For the sake of discussion, let's assume WOHG-64's jets could travel 100,000 light years. Even under these conditions, it seems unlikely that the jets would reach us. Additionally, even if these jets somehow extended to 160,000 light years, it would take 160,000 years for them to reach us. Furthermore, Supernova jets lose energy as they travel. Thus, the most dramatic effect 160,000 years from now might be seeing auroras visible from the equator. The observed star is located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. However, it is still a distinct galaxy from the Milky Way. As you may have noticed, we now have the technology to clearly observe a star 160,000 light years away, gradually losing its mass. This technology allows us to monitor potential supernova threats. The discoveries enabled by this technology will likely have significant implications, particularly for those working on cosmological models or intelligent life research. If you like, share, or comment on our videos, it will help us reach more people. See you in our next video. Goodbye.